last episode. Nope. <gasps> oh, I didn't hack hers. That makes sense. And now we finish this. I'm looking forward to what actually happened with Kenway anyways. Because you you slightly get entranced in all these stories of assassins. One ends, another begins. Oh boy. Great Inag, October 1722. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect. Just as Altairi Ben Lahad was uh -huh. counseled. And until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Hmm. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Time to finish something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody's slightly happy. Slightly. <laughs> Evening, Anne. Edward? Guy's like, oh shit, nope. I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man. You were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Oh, she's Irish? I didn't know that. Oh, her accent. Yeah, no shit. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? Uh, in time, I. But my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the car! Oh, no. Please don't be something bad. Shit, that's a British flag. You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Wait, what? Kenway has a kid. Oh wait, it's Connor's dad. I just came to that realization. Everyone. Alas, it was to none but me. Getting all salty to eye after everyone's dead. And all I've done for want of wit to memory now. I can't, I can't recall. So. Oops, better be quiet. He had a daughter? <sighs> what? Wait, wait. But the si it's my going Huh? Oh. But since it falls unto every last grab of duck on the wind, that I should rise. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. Um, well, it's, I guess it's over. But technically, we didn't receive the two last achievements for the ending two chapters, but I guess this is a good, proper thing for the, uh, for Edwards to at least be back with his daughter, but he never gets to see his wife, but I guess that's still a good thing. Having him and his daughter at least sail the seas. In the end, I guess this is a good way to end. I mean, for this part. Oh. Father, did you always know how to sail a boat? The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. 
on the boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. Bristol. After you left Mother? Ah. Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new so world. So basically a talking ship. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lark. To support us. To take care and of you. Her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you wrote only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I don't know. I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but that wouldn't have mattered. To see a daughter once again. Can I steal your boat? <laughs> Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. <laughs> Why then, everything is a ship, large and small, but for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. It's kind of cool. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's she... alright. Oh. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then she was gone. I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now, and we're on an adventure. I guess. Uh, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Being too old for this crap, after all. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? <laughs> pirates? No. Not much chance of that. I yeah. Oh, uh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to. I think you're looking at ones. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> hey, look, oil. <laughs> What? Oh. Why does this look familiar? Extremely familiar. Like deja vu kind of familiar. Oh. <clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kenway. May I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you Whoa. please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, <laughs> Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me! Yeah. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. Haytham. What's wrong, Haytham? I can't see the stage. Up we go. So he had How's a different that? kid with a different Fine. family. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Kenway still has to finish something else. Saw that coming. Wait, is it that the... Saw that one coming. Well, okay, yeah, it was pretty obvious, so... I guess it's over? Some things are still a little bit off for me, but I guess this is the ending for Assassin's Creed 3. I mean, not Assassin's Creed 3. 
I'm so used to it, but I guess since that was, hate, I hate them. It makes sense that Kenway actually remarried and up getting and his daughter changing a different name. So, wait, two children, change of name. But doesn't that mean there's technically more than one ancestor lineage then? Well, I mean for. Uh, for, like, you know, leading down for those that carry the eagle vision, that is. So that means there was... Since there were two kids, and Haytham never talked about his sister, so something must have happened during that time period that made him turn into a Templar, after all. And then Haytham ended up uh, marrying and getting... Well, not really marrying, ended up getting a kid known as Connor Kenway. Connor at least kept the name. Well, Connor... The name, Connor end up getting from someone else, but still kind of sort of kept the last name Kenway, but Rotodongedon is Rotodongedon. So, meh. <sighs> Alright. Time for final review of at least how this game went. The game for me felt way better than it was with uh, Assassin's Creed 3. The movements, the feelings, it all, you know, loosey-goosey kind of feeling. It kind of had that, like, push that the third one kind of, you know, was trying to go for that point. Same thing for uh, Revelations. Those two kind of, like, you know, tried their two different directions. And three ended up being really good of a direction. Of course, for a lot of people, they did not like the, well, how things went for uh, Connor. But it was basically what it, what it, <clears throat> what is what is. I mean, it is what it is. Connor was born in an Indian family, and it sucked. Because during that time period, even for the American Revolution, it really didn't have that many positive effects for the Indians, other than, like, the casinos. But that's not really something to, like, to praise about. Oh boy, we get casinos, we can rip off a bunch of people. Huzzah! No. Yeah, so for Connor, it sucked. It really did suck, and I feel sorry for that, but... The plot for it, you know, made sense, and it went with its direction, just whoosh, A to B, A to B. Didn't mind, uh, I didn't mind it, but I feel like for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, the direction it went was good. I enjoyed it personally, and I feel like I'm looking forward to at least the sequel to come, and also to play the DLC. And instead of labeling it under Assassin's Creed Extra like I did for the old, um, uh, old recordings of uh, three and uh, three and below. I'm going to at least label this one out of pure respect for the DLC for this one, since this isn't really focused on Edwards at all. I will Kenway. Oh yeah, now Kenway is his last name, so but yeah, you get what I mean. We're not going to at least focus on. Um, it's not going to be focused on him. It's going to at least focus on his uh, previous right hand at the sale of the Jackdaw. He had to say goodbye to the Jackdaw, he had to say goodbye so, so long ago. Ended up at least committing to a family. While his, uh, friend, one of his best friends you could say, ended up at least having a different story with him. That's what actually makes me really look forward to at the end, so... Round of applause! We are done with the main plot of the Assassin's Creed uh, 4 Black Flag. I'm curious about what's the outro. Because since we finished the plot for it, and the main character for, um, the main character, the actual person that's actually going through these simulations, is still there, and he's no longer, you know, accused of being, um, an assassin, or, you know, a traitor in a nutshell. This gives us the advantage to at least finish up the remaining hack, aka the one at our current boss's spot. So, if we can at least get that done by the end of this recording session, I'll be pretty glad, and we'll see the final thing and receive the achievement at the very least. Because since with all of that, all of that done, I'll at least be personally happy with myself. Alright, my complaints with Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. It was less glitchy than Assassin's Creed 3, which was a good thing. That was actually a pretty positive thing. I know I'm adding it under my complaints, it's not a complaint, it's just a positive feedback for that. But the thing I did not like was how it constantly would hold your hand during a combat, I mean during combat. That 
I did not enjoy. The combat system itself was pretty cool, but whenever at least it forces you to at least put a text up above you saying, Dodge, you must do this, you must do that. It was basically, you know, a you know, a big brother situation where it holds your hand through the entire game instead of letting you try to handle it yourself. Which, you know, in the previous Assassin's Creed, it, it worked. That was the good thing. I actually enjoyed it, and hopefully some other people enjoyed it. Not many people have really enjoyed Assassin's Creed 3 as, I brought, bring it, <clears throat> as I'm bringing up again, but I'm just saying personally in my opinion, so me. Um, let's see, I've already been hearing about new things like Assassin's Creed Unity and also the sequel, I mean all this coming up for Assassin's Creed. I know that some people are like, uh, oh, the Assassin's Creed series itself is dead anyways. The plot is pretty much being stale. Eh. It's, it's, okay. No matter what, no matter how bad it's looking, no matter at least the direction with it is where it's going. Personally with me, I'm going to at least keep going with these, uh, I'm going to keep recording them, honestly. None of it will actually, you know, change my opinion about Assassin's Creed. I love Assassin's Creed series in general. I never really enjoyed the multiplayer because I didn't really get into it, but I did enjoy at least the story of Assassin's Creed. Collectibles, uh, not really necessarily uh, important, but still enjoyable to at least receive that and you feel a little bit like, yeah, I did it. I feel important about myself and I feel warm and tingly. Yay. Other than that, yeah. Um, as for anything extra, if I would ever bring back Assassin's Creed Extra, I probably won't bring back Assassin's Creed Extra for anything else at the very least. But depends on how I feel about the legendary ships. If I feel like I can legitimately handle them, then maybe. I'll probably instead of like, you know, comment like you know commentating while i'm at least recording it I, I might just you know like do a post commentary since trying to at least get on the ball and trying to at least you know like say what's happening like oh man i got this and then just screw up completely because that's been a constant thing a constant 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 thing <laughs> it's not fun after a while it's very depressing actually i'm curious about something oh i could skip nope I'm at least going to stay at the credits to at least respect all of those and give at least proper appreciation for every single person that has worked their best, their hardest at at least all of these things. Of, you know, voice acting, animation, the everyone that is like involved in Ubisoft of any way. You got to at least show a proper appreciation. I could easily skip it, but that to be rude. But goddamn, there's still a lot of people, especially the translations and the audio dubs and the bit bit. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm so tempted to skip it. Is there anything else like, you know, a fight scene? Do we at least end up fighting people like in first person and just end up making it look like Dishonored, except for with, you know, counters? What's up with their game with the, with the ability of a counter? Like slow motion counter like it's been doing for Assassin's Creed 3. Because I doubt with all of that and then they quick, quickly make the main character into third person. Would be interesting, but eh. Oh, poopy. Oh, this is... Running miles and miles and miles! No fucking freaking credits. Alright, come on. Uh, let's see, additional audio recordings. Additional? Italian version, translation adaptation, translation review, studio engineering, voice direction, audio post-production, audio QA, audio localization manager, voice actors, blah, 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 blah. Oh no, this is all the... No, this is all the different countries. Actually, let's see, I think... I don't know if they have the Chinese version, if I recover, if I recover correctly. Uh, I know that they have uh, German, they have Italian, they have Spanish. Oh yeah, of course the Spaniards would need it. Goddamn Spaniards! Meh! Even though this actually has a good percentage of kicking the crap out of some Spaniards anyways. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that now because it would seem uh, scummy and douchebaggery. Yeah. Nah, but seriously, I don't like even though. Uh, ugh. See, my throat's dry for at least constantly talking for like three hours now. And yes, it's been three hours. Um, depending on at least how I'm gonna go with uh, the editing for the three hour recording session. Yes, this is a three hour recording session, as I'm repeating myself for the second time. So it's gonna be probably a long, long editing session. I mean, editing session for me. So it's gonna probably take a few days, pri like after the day I've actually recorded this. Eh. Because I know the audio is gonna be at least not that hard to at least edit. But it's always the video. For some reason, the video, pu whenever I push it for longer than it's supposed to be, it's gonna crap out. And this is gonna break my heart as soon as I, like, you know, finish this. That I'll still give, like, I'll still at least keep the audio. If I have to repeat this all over again, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna at least cry to the maximum extent where it's like, <laughs> I hate recording this shit in this format. <laughs> okay, I'll be done. But yeah. Huh. Within a three hour session, we were able to at least finish it. I felt like there was gonna be more. That's the only thing that was bothering me. There's no way that it should be like this. And I can't, because it's saying the cinematic, so I feel like there's going to be more after this. So I can't hold the skip button. I can jab the skip button, but I cannot hold the skip button. Because if I skip it, I will feel bad, and then I will feel sad, and then it will suck, and then I'm going to be sad. Whatever, let's just finish this up. It looks like it's going to be soon over. Localization, multiplication. <gasps> Japanese, Brazilian, Russian, Polish, Dutch, Hungarian. Oh yeah, Hungary. Hey baby, Hunger Game. Traditional Chinese, Korean, Danish, Finnish, Norwegian, Swedish, Arabic. Really, they actually had something in Arabic. Okay. Uh, Czech. Blah, blah, blah. User research director. Blah, 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 blah. Research moderators. Philip. Biometric product. Manager, user research lab coordinate, DNA, the byproduct manager, tools programs, by programs, IT. Yeah, you gotta respect them ITs. Director of the productions, Frederick Beer, production manager, tool manager programs, technology group, technology group directors. I'm just gonna read this all out loud because A, I don't know what else to say. So, I already gave my personal review, other than like, you know, it. Game had less glitches, but the game kind of held your hand a lot. Plot was good. And how that you've at least up upgraded to like this almighty being was pretty cute. I liked it. I had no regrets about it. And the only thing I just felt like kind of sucked was just more of like, you know, the uh, legendary ships. Those kind of were a pain in the butt. And I know that they're going. They're, <clears throat> I know that they are going to at least give us the opportunity to uh, be able to at least fight against those shit. Oh. Technically, with my boat maxed out, it should be strong enough to at least handle handle them. As I brought up, like the ending mission, I guess. Yes, game save while I'm not even trying to. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Not hundred percent. 100%. I feel proud of myself. Yay. Alright, so we ended up... I guess we ended up completing everything? I feel like that we haven't, but... Nope. Oh! Didn't finish that one. Didn't finish that one. That one, that one, that one. Huh, so there was a few of them we didn't finish. Okay, my bad. Quest items. Got that, and got that. So, we're... Ended up collecting a lot of things. Ammunition. So we're good with everything else. Cool. I'm just not sure what else we're going to be doing after this. If it at least has us do something cinematic, I would be at least pretty cooly. But it's probably not going to be cooly. It's going to be about like fucking days later. Nah. But I either will do two things at this point. I'll either fast forward till it actually gets to the end, but at least still show a proper appreciation for these people that have worked their hardest 
on getting localization, getting all the work done, technical work, directing, you play, crap, blah, designing, programming, all this gibberish. Nutshell. Highly appreciate it. Means that they at least worked hard to at least make the game. Some people could say otherwise. Criticize. Review it. Ugh. Go up your butt and just say, you suck. Your, your opinion doesn't mean a thing to me. I mean, your opinion is highly invalid because you're very unintelligent. That's the type of people I would end up hearing in the end. But I would not care. Because in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because if you enjoy the game, it shouldn't be lame. So in the end, you should just be happy. Yeah. yeah. And then after this fucking recording session, I'm gonna get like a shit, like two cups worth of drinking water. Because I demand my water. Because water needs to satisfy me. Because my throat's dry as hell. Because this isn't me gusta. Eh. Uh, it's like, oh, okay. The time is wrong right there, but yeah, yeah it's almost like, it's almost getting to that time like, Frickin' 12.30 in the morning, 12.30 in the evening, gotta work tomorrow, don't give a shit because I work these time periods, yay! God damn it. Whatever. Um, I guess, yeah, me just fast forward please. I'm, I'm quickly losing on what the fuck else to say, please. Save everyone the time and effort instead of... Well, you know what? No. It's still showing some appreciation. Even if it takes a really long ass time, it still shows a proper appreciation for all the people that have did their best. In anything. Technical, logistics, services, games, lab, the mid... But... <sighs> but yeah. Hmm... Oh, well, whatever. I'll at least get to this point. Well, guys, I still want to thank you guys very much for those that actually watched the entire series from beginning to end. I really, sh really, really appreciate you guys at least watching these series. Any series that I've completed, no matter what it is, good, bad, left, right, B, A, start, thank you still. Any series that I ended up abruptly or just couldn't get any more ideas, I still personally say thank you very much, very, very, very much for at least uh, being kind and considerate and watching all of them, no matter what, like the audio, the desynchronization, any of that. I, I thank you guys personally, if all from my heart, because all the hard work, I mean, well, some of the hard work, and then the determination of trying to at least get some of these videos to at least work out, you know, it just, it, it just made... Well, it just makes it for me. Because I know people could honestly say, Oh, this isn't working hard, it's just being easy. You say that, but how do you at least properly synchronize correctly? Get the visuals to at least be uh, looking very nice. Because sometimes, usually some video, I mean, uh, some um, recording pro like programs occasionally crap out. Like, for example, mine... Since it in, it's either in an MP4 format or in, uh, let's see, I'm trying to look at it right now. The save format is an M2TS. And it's recording to three hours worth. And if it doesn't render out correctly for the rent, uh, for the, uh, the recording, pro like the recording program, what do I do? It's going to suck. Like I've had the previous problems before where it's just like, I have the video it's uh it's ready but for some reason the thing to at least render it to a understandable format for my editing software to at least you know work with would not be able to at least you know work with it man but yeah i don't know uh, with the past mistakes like uh the audio completely crapping out Ugh. i don't know it does take some effort to at least try to at least you know synchronize the audio and video if you just want to at least do something and simple, just do PC games if you want, but I don't know, synchronizing for like console games is, you know, that little time and effort unless you get like an HDM, which does technically when render some things to be easier, but at least 
getting proper synchronization between audio and video because no, there is... I mean, I think there is a recording program, but it's not really good quality where it will try to legitimately sync audio and video because I think it only does post-commentary. I mean, it would only work technically for post-commentary kind of stuff. Not, you know, like live commentary that you'd be doing while you're playing the game. So, something like that. Oh, God. Ugh, excuse me. So, yeah. I don't know. It, it, it all depends on the pipples. Everyone has their own opinions, yes. But it's just, eh. It's still bought, like, it's still technically some, like, you know, bother, bothersome a bit. That some people would shrug it off as too easy. Whenever there's still things with it that has difficulties, like trying to get the proper attention for the video that you'd at least hope would at least get enough attention. Um, trying to at least be on the ball with that, or anything in particular. I guess, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm rolling with. Um, I think it was supposedly, I didn't really check the new trailer for the next Assassin's. Hell, I don't even look at, like, I don't even try out the demos for, like, these games. I just wait patiently and see how the game turns out in, like, the final, like, product. I don't really care for, like, you know, demos or anything. I'm more looking forward to the, the actual game itself. Because, I don't know. You can go see the demos, you know, because those things, the demos that at least are, aren't really the 100% final version, as been, like, told by many people. I mean, you know, many game uh, creators should always, you know, recommend to at least inform people in their demos. I mean, you know, demos for uh, anyone else to play. That That is technically not the full game itself, it is a portion of it that's trying to at least show the good traits that come with it to, uh, to draw in the attention of those that are like either new or old and, uh, you know, like for the old, old generation people that are like slightly, you know, like, ah. Uh, if it's not good, like, I don't know, like the older games, fuck, like, I don't really care. Or if they're new, it's like, oh, what's this game about? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, what else am I going to at least throw some BS about? Um. Tech message. Whatever. I'll, I don't know how long the cinematics is going to be running, so I'll at least be right back. You guys enjoy the credits while I slowly get irritated and assist my father with, like, something. Okay, be right back, guys. You gotta be kidding me. What is this? Um. Uh, what? But. What? What? Why are we on this map? Congratulations, you finished the game. New relic portraits emblem titles. Hey, right. but we're not done. What?
Ugh, God damn it. What? What? I'm confused. I'm confused. That map say something. What? I'm confused. What? I don't see a tavern. Um. Okay. Uh. Oof. Wait, what did it say before? Let me check something. Okay. Community challenge. Plunder warehouses. Blah. I don't care about that. <sighs> Rewards. Congratulations. You finished the game. New relic portrait. Um, blah, blah. So there's nothing else. Pretty much done. Are you serious? I basically waited for the entire thing and there was nothing like special. Are you freaking kidding me? Assassin. Um. What? Why is he highlighted then? That makes no sense. Too much of the light. Um. Okay. Get you something to drink. Nah. <sighs> Whatever, I don't care. I guess this is actually the end of Assassin's Creed. Um, hmm. Kind of feel a little empty. I guess we're done? Epilogue. In which Kenward donated his cove to the Assassins? Drew up the plans of the future, whereupon the ship's honor uh, harbor Edwards... And uh, let's see, his, after which Edward returned to England to live a life as a man of means and quality and as an assassin, good and true. So that was it. Database, Total Sink, uh, Woods, Roger, Scott, Annie Boney. Um, so there's nothing outside of the Animus? Sorry, guys, I'm just, I, I'm just trying to at least, you know, get my bearings, but... Nothing else. Nothing. Because we... Yeah. Oh! <gasps> the last computer! Let's do it! Yeah. The final computer! We win! Yeah! We did it, guys. The real end get... Oh. That's unfair. Eh. Oh shit! Oh no, they have invisible walls and this one's increasingly slow. <sighs> I hate this. Hate this so bad. Eh. Eh, this sucks. This sucks pee pee. Eh. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Eh. Yeah, buddy. Aw, oh, damn it. Fuck. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this to end the session off. <laughs> I hate this. So freaking much. Eh. Eh. God damn it! Uh. Nope. There's no way of avoiding that. I hate this. I hate this. Just. Just the final thing. Eh. The final thing. The final countdown. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! Life's good. And again. The final piece. Initial reports on Aveline de Grand Prix led us to believe she would be too controversial and impulsive to appeal to a and? wide audience. Teenage memories show her brainwashed and trained to kill political foes of her highly unstable mentor, Agate. Additionally, Aveline spent a disappointing amount of time in the Louisiana Bayou, consorting with smuggler's of the lowest okay. kind. Oh, 
I try never to think. <laughs> which we felt risked her appeal to our female audience, which is now approaching 50%. However, as Aveline matured, a new side emerged. A well-mannered and considerate lady of poise and compassion. Uh -huh. Aveline came to embrace a new mentor, her stepmother, Madeline Delisle, a tireless fighter for the rights of slaves. Thank you, Madeleine. With some editing to prioritize this relationship, we feel Aveline's story will more than meet our wow. needs. Our team recommends a go on this property. Really? Get this one to market quickly. That was the only one that was fucking approved just because it had some small fucking details. Of course that ends up being the last product. How genuine. How beautiful. Can we... So we're just done. There's nothing else with it. We end up looking everywhere for this crap. And this is what we get? Um... Yeah, that's true. Nothing. No, no Sean, no Rebecca, just... Nothing? What about this No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. Mm. This sucks. Uh, let me... So there's there's nothing else. Are you serious? This is this is it. That's it. This is this is just the end. This kind of sucks. Cause we got to see Sean and Rebecca. John went up being Roberts from like you know years before. I mean yeah, but what the fuck, people? Seriously. So nothing. No like special Cinemax unless I end up missing it somehow. Sean! Oh, there he is! Sean! Sean! Let me give you the last hacking thingy! Sean! Talk to me! No cinematics! You're a soulless being! You're fucking... You're fucking ridiculous! I guess this is it? Eh? Can I, can I go home? Please? I wanna go home! He's on American. Hey, hey, buddy. No, no, no. Guy, help me leave. No, no. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, guys, this is the end of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Look forward to the DLC coming up next. So until then, Johnny. Bye bye.